Welcome everyone to this video. Today we're going to talk about email security and privacy and how to increase both on your computer, whether it's a Mac or Windows or even Linux. And this topic is very, very important because email attacks are one of the most common ways for attackers to execute an attack. When you hear about data breaches, ransomware attacks, email is one of the most common ways that hackers are gaining access or executing those attacks or exploiting. And so we're going to go over specific things you can do to increase security, but also privacy as well. Now, the very first thing you need to start with you, the user, you need to recognize that every time you receive an email, especially if it's trying to get you to click on something, whether it's a link, a button, an attachment, you need to stop, think and triple think and double check to make sure that this email is legitimate. Hackers go to great lengths and are very, very good and clever at making their emails look legitimate and appear as if they came from a legitimate company or service. And so as soon as you see anything that is clickable, again, a link, a button, or an attachment on an email, you need to put up red flags and stop. For example, if you receive an email for a service that's claiming there's a billing issue or something along those lines, rather than use the email, just log into the service and double check it there. And that's really the main thing that you need to do off the bat is just get into the habit of not performing actions from the email, but going to the service itself. You can even contact services and check with them to make sure an email is legitimate. But again, the very first thing is you, the user need to be more cautious, stop, think and verify that the email is from where you believe it is from. Now, an additional step that you can take that helps with identifying whether an email is legitimate or not, or legitimately from a service or sender that you believe it's from, you need to compartmentalize or divide up your email addresses. And what I mean by that is you need to have an email, for example, for personal contact and this email address, you only give it to people you personally know, like family members or friends, people you personally trust. You need to have a second email that is public. For example, this could go on a resume or a website for public contact. And then you also need to have separate email addresses for other services like streaming or social media, banking or finance, shopping, and any other categories that you can think of that you use. And the idea behind this is if you receive an email that claims, for example, your Netflix service is being canceled and that you need to click this button to verify or check it out, but that email came into your banking email address, immediately you know it's fake because it went to the wrong email address. Now on top of separating out all of these email addresses for different services and uses, you can also use aliases and there are services out there that help you with this. For example, you could use something like Simple Login, Addy.io, MySudo, and even some email services, for example, Startmail will allow you to have unlimited aliases, but be cautious as to how and where you use these because for example if you try to use an alias email with say a banking service you're going to get flagged as spam and your account's going to get closed down so just be cautious about where you use these these are throwaway email addresses that you can use as aliases and set them up to forward to your actual email that's created for whatever it is you're signing up for so again if it falls into banking social media streaming whatever it is whatever category also, please be aware there are email services out there that will allow you to create additional email addresses to make this really simple and easy for you to do, such as ProtonMail and Tutanota, which also has the same option. There are other services out there that do these same things, so don't think these are the only options, but these are some of the most common, well-known, and trusted services. Additionally, especially if you are a business, you need to make sure that you access your emails from a different computer and a different network from everything else. A dedicated computer, its only function is to open and check emails. And again, it's connected to a completely separate network. On top of that, I would set up some sort of sandbox or even just a virtual machine on this dedicated email computer. You can also use services such as Application Guard with that computer. I do have a video on how to use that service in Windows. I'll post a link to that tutorial video down in the video description. But by using a separate computer and a separate network, you help limit and minimize the damage that can be caused if something goes wrong and someone clicks on something they shouldn't have or opens an email attachment that they should not have. And in addition to that, you should be backing up all of your data 
Again, especially if you're a business, but even if you're just a single user, I would still recommend backing up all of your data. Now, there are a lot of different backup solutions. The one I use is Backblaze. It's very well known. They do have personal options as well as business. I do have an affiliate link down in the video description, but please use something. Even if it's not this, always, always back up your data. And this next tip should be known at this point, but always needs to be reiterated is make sure you have unique passwords for every single email address that you have. Make sure that it's at least 25 characters long and a combination of random upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. And always make sure that two-factor authentication or multi-factor authentication is enabled on every single address. Now, a lot of that had to do with security. Let's talk about privacy a little bit. And it is true that alias side that we already talked about does help a lot with privacy because you're not giving out your email address to anyone and everyone. You're just giving them throwaway email addresses. But on top of that, if privacy really is a concern or priority, you do need to get away from using Gmail, Yahoo email, Microsoft services such as Outlook or Hotmail if you still have one of those. Some alternatives have already been mentioned and some of these do have free tiers, but ProtonMail is one of the most known. It's very private, secure. They do offer encrypted email services as well, which is something everyone should be utilizing. Tuda or Tudanota is also another alternative that's well known. And even something like Fastmail, which does not have a free tier, is another option you could look into. So those are just some common important tips that you need to get into the habit of doing every day with your email. Again, email is a super common way of exploiting and attacking and gaining access that hackers use and executing ransomware attacks. And I'd also strongly recommend spreading the word because a lot of people out there just don't know this type of information about being careful, especially with email attachments or links. But that's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the subscribe button, the thanks button, and that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.